Let's begin our first export for printing. We're going to right mouse click on one of the images, select export, and then from export, we'll click export again. From here, the first drop down tells us, or is asking us where do we want to export this image to. We have different options for email, hard drive, or for CDs. We're going to select hard drive, and then we'll just come right down to the different tabs. Export location. We'll choose a folder later. What this will do for us is it'll allow us to export images from different catalogs, and we could choose which folder we put those images in. Next, the file renaming, we'll leave that unchecked. For video, we'll leave everything unchecked. Then we'll come down to the file settings. The image format is going to be JPEG. The quality is at 100%. And the color space that most print labs prefer is sRGB. In the next section for the image size, we're going to leave the resizing to fit unchecked. Sharpen for output. We're going to have that checked, and we're going to choose glossy paper, and the amount will be standard. We have the choice or the option to leave all the metadata intact, or we can just put copyright info. That's entirely up to you. In this case, I don't have a problem leaving all my metadata with the file. Watermarking should be unchecked, and then after we're done processing this image, we want to return back to Lightroom. So after export, we'll choose do nothing. Now we saved all these settings. What we want to do is create the preset. So we're going to come over to the preset panel and select add. And we're going to give this preset a name. Let's call this full size JPEG. And since we, we export as sRGB, we'll add that in here. If we were to export it into a different color profile, we'd actually add that name in there instead. Now we would need to create a new folder. And let's give this new folder a name, print. And since I already have a folder name print, let's call this version 2. And select Create. Once we're set, we'll, we'll click Create again. And if we come over to our preset panel, we'll see that a new folder was created. And inside that folder was a preset called Full Size JPEG and the color space sRGB. So now let's see what the preset does. Right mouse click on the image. We'll select Export. And then we'll choose the folder, which was Print Version 2, and the preset, which was the Full Size JPEG sRGB. Lightroom will give us a folder we could choose to export our image to. Select the folder. And here's the status up in here in the corner. And once it's done, our image is now exported to our hard drive. Now here's the beauty. If I click on one image and then pressing the shift key, click on a whole group of images or just another one, I have both of those selected. I can right mouse click, select export, choose the same preset, and both of those are being exported at the same time into that location. You can see how creating a preset makes our life a lot easier.